Okay, so hear me out. On October 29, there was the inauguration of an Owl House art exhibition at Gallery Nucleus in California. Within this event, there was a live panel and some of the crew answered some of the questions from the fans, one of them concerning the zodiac signs of the characters, to which Rebecca Rose replied on behalf of Dana. Also, the question is, what would their zodiacs be? Just tell them that the astrological calendar that we know in the human realm does not exist on the Boiling Isles. They don't even have the same number of months. It's a much more confusing system. Therefore, we cannot answer that question. <laughs> They have 13 months out of the year, 666 days in the year, and all the animals are associated with those months and or days are different kinds of worms or tube-shaped creatures. So there's a completely different unit of time in the Boiling Isles, since one year is composed of 666 days and 13 months. Now this is where it gets interesting. We saw in season 1 with Scar's invitation that witches and demons do celebrate birthdays. She was about to turn 15. So if we assume that they celebrate birthdays once a year, that could mean that the lifespan of witches and demons is longer than that of humans due to a slower aging process. This drove them to create a calendar that best fits their biological age. And since I took my Adderall a little later than usual, I just took my whiteboard and did some calculations here. If we have the human year with 365 days, right, and the demon realm with 666, then that would make a ratio of 1 to 1.82. It's almost double. That could mean that actually humans age 1.82 times faster than witches. Taking into account that the average lifespan of a human is 70 years old, which I know it's longer in developed countries, but let's just take the global average of, of human life. That will total 25,550 days of life. Now you could say, hey Cass, just because they have a longer unit in their calendars doesn't necessarily mean that they live longer. They could just have half the birthdays that humans have. That would mean that they would pass away between 35 and 40 years old, and that would be the equivalent of our 70 years old of life. But there's a problem with that, because we saw that Scara was turning 15 years old and not 7 or 8 years old. And she looked around the age of Luz biologically. And so if we take the best scenario here, and we assume that the average lifespan of a witch is also around 70 years old in Boiling Isles units, that would mean if we multiply this, they live around 46,620 days. That's almost double. And if we take that number and we divide it by 365 days, which is the unit in the human world, to see how many years that would mean for humans, that gives us 127 years old. The average lifespan of a witch, that's my attempt at drawing a witch, would be 127 years which that's crazy. And so after seeing these numbers, I started wondering, well, what would be the equivalent of that? So like when Luz is 70 years old and Amity is 70 and Luz, Luz passes away, let's knock on wood that that doesn't happen and she lives longer. What would that be like for Amity? What would that mean in human years? So I did this rule of three 70 would be equal 55 percent of the lifespan of a witch if we multiply 70 here. times 0. 55 38.5 or 39 years old luz passed away at 70 years old that would be the equivalent of her dying when amity was like 39 years old yeah i mean amity would still be young and luz would be already dead oh. so yeah that's not a fun thought i don't know why i started doing this but uh yeah I would leave you with that. So one theory for this longer lifespan would be that magic actually influences longevity. After all, we have seen that Velos has managed to live thousands of years. Like seriously, sir, why are you still here? Weren't you like born in the 17th century? Wait a minute! But yeah, there's something weird going on with time in the Boiling Isles. We also saw that Goss had a growth spurt. Well, they called it witch puberty. That was a really fast spurt of growth, even faster than what we see in human beings in their teenage witch years. Witch puberty. Another case we see is Ida herself. She aged a lot faster than her sister, and she's the younger sibling. But because of the curse, there's something different with the aging of witches and demons, for sure. 
I'm not sure if it's gonna be this, if they're actually gonna age twice slower than humans and this is gonna happen, but it's a theory based on how the calendar is also longer. I was just bored and this was a fun theory to make, but what do you think? Do you think they actually age slower than humans? Do you think that maybe they have two birthdays per year and that's why they have the same age of Luz? Or do you think magic has a lot to do with that aging process and depending on that, you would age a little slower? But let me know in the comments below. I'm sorry for leaving you with the thought of Amity being a widow. That was not my intention when I started thinking about it. You guys have a great day. Hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one, amigos.